right, we are back. We did not wind up getting a unit today. I went through everything that was available and nothing really captured our interest. So we just decided we were going to work around with some of what we had, which we dug deep into the trenches and dug out everything we had. Um, this is basically the end of the road of what we have from storage units. Um, what we have over here, I think, is from a private storage unit we bought. We got a private unit one. Some of the antique units. Some of the antique units and, and some of the questionable. And some of the units. questionable over units. Here, there's a couple of uh, tubs. We basically did a uh, like a peaky peek in mm -hmm. each one and stuff. So um, there is one about five boxes in there that are all VHS tapes. Uh, VHS tapes aren't good obviously unless they're they're copies of television shows with the original commercials and or shows or, or the Olympics or things like, like that. that people, people love, those. love those and they'll spend good money on those and there are other certain VHS's that do well old wrestling old events wrestling, old manga, horror movies uh, anime anime and I sell a ton of, of that but I didn't get that from this these units we got that from the estate sale. But I'm sorry I have to sit down for a minute. <laughs> I, uh, I basically dug everything out that we had back here, as you can tell, and did a little bit of cleaning. I do have a plasma TV right behind Tracy. I have it up on the marketplace. And um, just to let you know, We're good. just to let you know, you have to keep those things in that, you have to have them sit up the way that they are. You can't lay them down flat because then the, the plasma will literally damage and you don't want to do that. So they're one, very, very heavy. That, that thing probably weighs about 150 pounds to 120 pounds. And uh, I have it up on the marketplace right now. Uh, I think I have it for 70 um, and I'm about to lower it down to 50 now that I can actually get to it and we can, we can sell that. We found some good, cool pictures over here that we're going to end up putting in our, our booth, you know, so they're pretty cool. I like that one um, with the um, fancy lady in the leopard. Yes. We have a heater right here that I'm going to test that. It's an electric heater. I'm going to test Looks that. like a little old-fashioned fireplace. Yep. Back here, we have a lot of, uh, of uh, video game equipment and things like that that I've been storing together to lot to sell in, in one single um, lot. Okay, so you want to get some tubs going? Yeah, let's get going. All right, we'll start with. Uh, well, I was gonna start with that one oh, right okay. there because that one will be fairly easy and stuff. Uh, we got a very heavy, very thick glass bowl. Uh, we'll put this in the booth and probably get, uh, I think, about five dollars for that. Okay. Now this we just have to figure out where to put it all. A now fireplace bellow. Yes, those are good. These people we'll sell love the these antique things. booth. We'll sell that the antique booth. This also antique booth, so just little wooden box. I don't know why anybody would want this, but they will. Yeah, somebody will pay money for this right here and stuff. It's wood. It's uh, you know what it reminds me of. This reminds me, and not that it is that kind of stuff. That's not the name on it. It reminds me of um, the Amish things that you would find at like an Amish store or something. Yeah, like I can that. see that. You know. There's a um, basket, it, it's, it has a name on it. It says Peterborough Basket Company. So I'll probably look that up real quick, make sure it's not anything special. It actually it has a Lazy Susan on the bottom, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, that is awesome. If it's nothing special, I'll put it in the booth. If it's something special, I'll sell it on eBay. That is a cool thing right there. This is a tin, there's something in it. It says bulletin board borders. Which so could I'm be, guessing that might be what that is. Yep. And it is. Um, what, what do you want to do with these? You want to donate these to a school? Um, yeah, probably. I don't. Okay. I mean, I could probably make about ten bucks on those if I felt like listing them on eBay. I don't feel in the mood to do that right now. Well, we have so much stuff for eBay. Right. Um, one day when we go back to our booth or to the unit, which is eventually what I want to do, is I want to get everything in here to the unit right because, um the truck's already full with stuff that we're taking over to the unit but i want to get that over to the unit because i want to do all of my working over there mm -hmm. and then over here i'll do my storing and things that um that maybe do some repairs and things yes. over here yeah i'm a big repair person at least i say <laughs> it 
and it just doesn't happen. But I'll be storing all of these empty cups over here, that's for sure, because we got so many of those. All right, this is a cooler. With books. And it's got or magazines books and, and magazines. Let's see what we got. Forces of Taekwondo. That one might be good. Sometimes those... Um, the forces of Taekwondo. Ta yes, I'm definitely going to be looking these up. This is, that's Bruce Lee right there. Some the of those, um, those type books do very well. Yeah, these are actually, and I think these are all martial arts books, actually, except for this one right here. Yeah, that's <laughs> big money right there. It actually <laughs> says free on it. So guess where that's going? You guessed right. Those yeah, are Kung Fu. Yeah, I'm excited about this box. I would like to take this box home and maybe this is something we list tonight. Okay. These well. type books tend to do fairly well. I think um, anybody who follows us on Instagram, that was my Instagram post yesterday. I said weird is good when you're dealing with books. Okay, let's see what we got here. This one says Christmas. So, and I think I looked at this one already. Christmas really 2014 easy. Yard. Oh, yeah. We got Christmas lights, Christmas lights. This is what I wanted to see, though. Because that's not a Christmas light. I'm hoping that one will blow up. Oh, it's something that is a mailbox. Oh, cover. well, that's cute. Okay, well, that'll go in the booth. That'll go right in the booth. There. there is a little wreath in here. Um, let's see if it's broken or not. Or stuck. Right. The Christmas lights, I'm going to scrap metal these. And they go by themselves, too, by the way. This you has can't... some glue residue on it. I'm just going to toss that because it's it not. It might be candle residue. Yeah. Here's a couple of candles. And my toss will find a. Okay, this one is actually going to be a metal one. Um, uh, just to, for an FYI, when you do scrap metal, you can do wire, mm. uh, but coaxial cables are metal so those are going to go in in scrap metal uh, or uh cut what's called cut metal or sheet uh um what did they call it cut um cut metal i think yeah um uh, uh okay this though has to go separate because right it has, the it has the plastic it. and the light bulbs and right. everything and that one will is generally less money but it's, it's at least recycling. We're not putting it in the oh, in the landfill. In the box, uh, a guitar book. This is again. We will probably be ended up lining that together with some others. All right, we got a couple of DVDs. Mortal Thoughts, Detonator, Lost the Complete First Season, which, if I'm not mistaken, Tracy always tells me was the only good season. The second one was pretty good. I'd watch the first two seasons and then stop okay. if you can make yourself. This is going to Goodwill. Really cheap. Good one. Yeah. Let's see if they work. Yeah. What do we got here? Oh, it's a cobra. That's actually some of those. Long. Those do pretty well. Yeah. Something you just gotta look up. Uh, that's a Mozart. I know what that is, and I've actually seen a couple of those already. Ah, uh, Sleepy Hollow. Okay. I liked that movie. Did you? Yeah. Oh, here's a high school. Woodstock High School, 2006. Did Colin go there? Mm, uh, no, probably not the one high school he went to. <laughs> Didn't go to, I should say. Um, what I'll do with this one is, is I'll look for famous people who went to that high school when I list it. I'll put that... I uh, might not even be able to do that. I'm just going to... Yeah, it's kind of moldy looking. The Freight Brokers Handbook, 10 Steps to Successful Brokering. These type books actually do well sometimes. We'll take a look. There's a piece of, like, driftwood. Oh, no, it's... It's a thing. Look, see the person? Oh, the person's okay. Face right here. It's a hand. It actually kind of looks right like here. a Wookiee. Okay, I will list this as a Wookiee wood decor. Okay, and I'm <laughs> probably going to literally, I'm going to probably ask for $50 for this piece of wood right here. Okay. Okay. And I know you laugh every time I, I do that. All but right. hey, this it works goes for with you. The, the road trip right there. Got a magnet down there on the bottom. That's a beautiful banker's lamp. Yeah. That just needs to be cleaned up, and that will go in our antique booth. Okay, this is going into the next. All right, what we got? 
A handmade Atlanta Falcons keychain. That actually is going to go to good luck. Yes. Well, it's all faded and it was handmade and yeah. Right. These right here will. Oh, I'm just going to do that. It's a tape dispenser. We have about a billion of those. Yep, I'm putting it in the next unit. Okay. I've got a cheap camera that was given away by Time Life Books. Probably put that away because we kind of lot up camera you equipment. Know what, what? This camera right here is probably about fifty dollars on uh, on eBay because it's from Time, and they don't. I could see anymore. it going either way. Yeah. Could go either way. There's a JVC little mini handy cam. Those sometimes do all right. That'll have to get looked up. It's called a speed square. Mm -hmm. It's used for cutting and woodworking. That's really cool piece. There's another Cobra. Oh, excellent. We got a pair of them now. That's excellent. I'll now you just like lay that aside. Thing. I want to look that up. Okay. We're laying aside stuff right over here. There's a screaming meanie. Screaming meanies. I don't know what a screaming mini is, but we oh, have yeah. one. But for, sounds pretty cool. There's a lumiscope. Something else to look up. Okay. All right. We're, we're coming up with a lot of stuff to look up, which is usually a good thing. Um, I did sell that one thing. You remember that one thing that I had? That was the. Um, was it a whatchamacallit? It was one that you put on the edge of a house and it blocks signals. Yeah, I do I remember sold that. It for like $200 on, um, on eBay. Toolbelt. Mm -hmm. Unit maybe? Oh yeah, that's a good good unit piece right here. Stuff so they're gonna want that. Mark might even want that. Oh man. I thought I had a movie for you to watch, but it's not in there. One flew over to Cooper's now? No, cool hand cool Luke. Hand Luke. That's... Tracy always teases me because I haven't watched a couple of the movies that she He has watched loved. hundreds of thousands of movies and I've watched a very small amount of movies and there's a lot of movies that I think are very good and he hasn't seen them. That happens to be one of them. Bunch hey, of used lottery tickets. Did you not look up lottery tickets? Yeah, modern used lottery tickets. Like the ones from this year, you can actually sell for pretty good money on eBay. Uh, this is brand new. Scan that for Amazon. Okay. Got some clothes here. Um, license plate. Just gonna lay these aside for now. And I know exactly which unit this is from now. I've I've pinpointed this unit. It's a cell phone. Tablet, yeah. That's RCA. not a good one at all. That's a drugstore. Well, okay, let's rephrase. I don't have one. Right. So that's a good one. Okay, the one I gave you for Christmas a couple of years ago is better than that one in the same size. I don't so even know where that one's at. I know exactly where it is. I do. Alright, here you go. I give jewelry to yes. Tracy. We have fur. Oh. What did I say I was going to do yesterday? Wear clothes. Wear random clothes. Every day. Random, random, random. Some perfumes and things. I tend to lot these together. This is Yankee Candle. That is. Concentrated room spray. It's in it's somewhat full. Cool. What do we got here? We got nail polish. Nail polishes. Um, we'll lot those together. Well, nail you've polish. got a bunch more. Sweet. I'll put those all together. Got a new makeup thing. All in all, this wasn't a horrible little tub. I mean, just some odds and ends. Here's a little brass piece. I don't know what it is, because I don't know stuff. <laughs> Got a real Zippo. It's not a special one per se, but probably one if we get two or three together, we'll lot them up and they'll sell like that. Oh yeah. Some brass. This is a lock. Okay. Yeah. This is a lock. I'll let you finish all that up in there. I'll go put this to the side because I have on a camera and I don't want to make people walk around. Mm, I wish I could. Get this 
Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's cool. And I'll just toss that. Okay. All right, finish that one? Yes, we did. All right, let me get behind you here. Here. All right. All right. Go up this way. Up here. This, this one's a little scam. Okay. Yeah, we got a personal picture. I'm not sure that we got a little bear thing. This is so like early 1990s, but somebody wants this, and I will sell it in the antique booth. Yeah. Home sweet classroom for teachers, obviously. I hope. That'll go in the Unit? Mm -hmm. Yep. This is called a coping saw. Unit. Coping saw. I'm sure somebody will correct me. Only if you need correcting. <laughs> right. a couple of cassettes. Some cassettes I can sell. These are a little too, too big. Just the hits. Here's a nice little picture that will once again go in the right. antique booth. That's kind of the... Oh, lovely. We have another dead cockroach. I swear, I don't know if there are any other channels on YouTube that show more dead cockroaches than we do. Oh, yeah, I bet anybody who actually watches this video just wonders what their life has come to that they watch dead cockroaches on YouTube. Yeah, I know I do. <laughs> what happened to my life? All right, how about one more? One more and we'll call yeah, it a day. You pick it. Um, it's gotta be one that I can get to. That one. That one over there? Yeah, I don't think that's a very good one. So I'm sorry to end with a downer, but I'm trying to make it easy on Brian. Yeah. All right, do this one instead. Oh, How about that one? This one? I wanted to get this one done because this one's got hot pot stuff. Okay, we got a USA lanyard. I actually it's like a these. School teacher book. I know this has no value. Yeah. Users guides can be good, by the way. These are great. I'm going to clean that up and put that in the antique booth. I've sold several of these over the years. All right. We know this disc is in it because it just fell out. And fell all the way around to the work part. Just a bunch of books that I can tell without There's even scanning them. I see hand. that. That do not have any value. Growing through divorce. All right, a couple more CDs. Yeah, CDs. Oh, Halloween's over. Look at that. Yeah, it can just go to Goodwill. I'm not saving that till next year. Oh, that's pretty. Now these are interesting enough that I will. No, never mind. They're Prentice Hall. That's going. I thought that was homeschool stuff. It was from a school. A band. Major. Yeah, it is. Major Ed or Major I'm going to guess that might even be from Hiram based on the colors. Yeah, those are Hiram colors. It's stained up pretty good. I'm going to guess this might even been a box we got over at Compass Storage. Could have been. We'll put that in a unit. We. That's how we usually get rid of our coolers nowadays. At Hiram Animal Hospital. Yeah. Oh, we got so a hat. Nice. Senior that's for, um, I know what that's for. It's Checkers Gone Wild tra Traverse. Best game if the pieces are all there, might be something to look into. I'm gonna put it over here for now. Hey, here's some heavy duty glass cleaner. I know you like your aerosol oh, glass I cleaners. Love aerosol. I'm telling you right now, absolute best. All right, one more thing. Let's see what's in that little metal box right there. The metal box? Metal right? box right there. Okay. 
Just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity. Mmm. Fun. I'm not thrilled. Looks like parts for a chair or a table or something. Yeah, that's what my guess is. You know, you know. But at least we won't leave people waiting and wondering all the way through Thanksgiving what was in that metal box. Yeah, they, they definitely won't do that. <laughs> but as you can see, this is what we are going to be working through the next few days. Um, what you do have to look forward to is we are hopefully going to be going to a live auction on Monday. So that's going to be fun. Yeah, and maybe we'll actually buy something this yep. time. It just depends on the unit. This place is notorious for bad units right? and really good units. Yeah, you know? but we're going to try to go to a live auction Monday and we'll bring you along and show you what's going on there. Yep. And tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Um, yeah. We'll probably put out a video in either way, just because we're we're keeping it small this year. Yeah. We're just gonna be eating some dinner with my family, and then we'll probably we'll, we're gonna be over at this house anyway. So we'll right. probably pop down here, open a few boxes, and put right. out a video. Yeah. So we will see you. Yes. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Okay. Talk yes. Talk about us. Leave comments. Tell us what you want. Tell us what you need to see. Please, Mom, do not tell me that we need to buy one with a safe in it, okay? Because those things are killing me. Yeah, I, we actually look, we were looking at a unit with a safe in it, but it just, no. The unit didn't have anything no. in it but a couple of safes in it, and the price already went up to the $600 yeah. mark. I'm not bought, paying $600 for two safes, you know. Not not my thing. I need to see, see some money in it and stuff like that. But one unit we were looking at, we were so excited about it. It was going to be probably our biggest roll of the dice because yeah. we couldn't see really anything. The it was a terrible, slot machine. But there were boxes galore and it was a 10 by 30 mm -hmm. and it was full and we were going to go ahead and just start jamming on that one. I was thinking it was we were going to pay about a thousand bucks for it but it got And it was off. clean. It was very clean. It was clean and it was in Buford. Yeah. Which is a nicer area. It's like nice the sh area. sugar, sugar hills, sugar loaf, sugar something yes. area of Buford. But very, very, very nice and stuff like that. So, you know, that's what happens, and we don't begrudge that. Nope. Well, I'm glad you know, the person solved the problem. For us to get. Okay, but we're going to clean up now. Yep. And we're going to see you guys tomorrow. on tomorrow. Yes. Y'all make sure you have a happy and safe Thanksgiving. We'll see ya. Peace. Bye.